I feel like this series is worth recapping, um, just because it was a good one. Yeah, sure, it was against the league worst Baltimore Orioles, but a series win, a four-game series win, is a four-game series win. So I will take that any day of the week. So uh, the most recent game I recapped was the 16-4 Baltimore Massacre. Well, the next day, uh, the race had a doubleheader. The first game, we lost 2-1. to one. Like, really? It, it was really frustrating because McKay started this game, and he had a great start. He played five innings, allowed three hits, and he had seven strikeouts. So a really great performance by the new guy, Brennan McKay. However, the offense just was, it was, they were silent all game, and they couldn't get any scoring at all to help out Brendan McKay. It was really frustrating. Uh, the only run came off a Mike Zunino solo home run. So. And, and we, you know, the, the Rays were winning 1-0 all the way up until the seventh when uh, Colin Poche gave up a Stevie Wilkerson two-run home run. And I mean, that was it. It was just not fun. But what can you do? I mean, you most games you score one run, you usually don't win those games. So got to score more than that. And what doesn't make sense to me is how... You know, obviously, you only score one run all game. And then three hours later, you start a brand new game, same day, and you win 12 to 4. Like, you couldn't do that scoring earlier in the day? Could we have split the runs for both games? It just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, the Rays tied a franchise record in this game for most home runs in a game at 6. Would have been nice to have some of those home runs in the previous game, but we'll let it slide. The winning pitcher for this game was Charlie fucking Morton. You already know, he's the best pitcher on the Rays pitching staff. And it's just, it's really fun to watch him pitch. He played 6 innings, allowed 6 hits, 2 runs, 1 walk, 6 strikeouts. So a strong performance by Charlie Morton. In the top of the second, Michael Brasso hits a two-run home run, 2-0 two raise. In the top of the fourth, Yandy Diaz hits a solo home run, 3-0 Tampa. Bottom of the fourth, Stevie Wilkerson singles, two score, it's a 3-2 Tampa lead. Top of the sixth inning, Avisael Garcia singles, Travis Darno scores, and that would be followed up by a Nate Lowe home run, two-run home run. You got a 6-2 to two Rays lead now. In the bottom of the seventh, Hanser Alberto solo home runs, 9-3. Uh, and then in the top of the ninth, Nate Lowe has his second home run of the night. And Nate Lowe is actually fighting to keep his spot on the Rays roster and not get sent back down to Durham. But he has just been outstanding since he's been called up. He's been He's probably been our best player. So... I hope the Rays keep him up until he starts to slow down, if he does. Right after Nate Lowe's second home run of the night, Michael Brasso hits his second home run of the night. And I had never heard of Michael Brasso until he got called up a few weeks ago. He's been pretty damn good since he's gotten called up. He had a two home run game, and you have a 12-3 Tampa lead. And then in the bottom of the ninth, Jonathan VR singles, Rio Ruiz scores, and that would be the final score, 12 to 4. Tampa wins, and that is that is the second game of the doubleheader. Like I said, it's really frustrating how at 1 p.m. you can only score one run, and then in the second game of the day, the second game in the same day, three hours later, you score 12 runs. Tie a franchise record for six home runs in a game. It just doesn't make sense to me. A win is a win. I'll take it. And the last game of the series was another win. Uh, it was a 4-1 to one Tampa win. And the reason I wanted to talk about this one was because it was frustrating for a reason. Because the Rays were this close this close to MLB history. There was not a starting pitcher today. It was a Ryan Stanek opener. And usually how these go is Ryan Stanek will play an inning or two, and then Yarbrough or Carinos will play most, if not rest of the game. And the Rays seem to win most of the time while using this strategy. Um, however, this game was especially good because the Rays went nine innings until they gave up their first base runner. That's right, the Rays were three outs away from the first combined perfect game in MLB history. So it was really, really frustrating when uh, Ryan Yarbrough was playing so well all game and then he gives up a hit in the ninth inning. It was like, oh, are you kidding me? Three more outs, we would have had it. But only so much you can do, right? In the Rays franchise history, we've had no perfect games and we've only had one no-hitter. So the pitching history in Tampa isn't great, 
So that's why this would have been really, really special to see because it's never happened before. It's, not, it's never happened in race history, and a combined perfect game has never happened in MLB history. So that would have been really special to see. But anyways, to the summary, in the top of the second, Joey Wendell hit a sacrifice fly, driving in Nate Lowe. In the top of the third, Austin Meadows had his first home run since late May. That just shows how cold he, how cold of a June he had. It was awful, but it was so relieving to see him get a home run once again. And that made it a 2-0 ball game. In the top of the sixth, Mike Brasso hits a home run. That's three home runs in two games for Mike Brasso. And not to mention that was a two-run home run, 4-0 uh, raise. And then in the bottom of the ninth, the Baltimore Orioles have a couple base hits, blah, blah, blah. They get like, what? They get one run. And that's it. So Rays win 4-1. to one. We're three outs away from the first combined perfect game in MLB history. So frustrating, but other than that, it was a hell of a performance. The best performance by the pitching this year so far. And one of the best pitching performances in Rays history. So that's it. Those are the three games I, I covered for you. Saturday's doubleheader and then Sunday's three outs away from a perfect game. But... Only so much you can do. Like I said, with all that being said, raise up, raise win. Three out of four in the series against the league worst Baltimore Orioles. So I would have been really disappointed if we didn't win this series. Uh, the next series is going to be really, really tough for the Rays. We go into the Bronx and play a four-game set versus the New York Yankees. And we just have to hope that we can at least split that series 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> that's, that's all I'm hoping for. And with all that being said, raise up, raise win. Uh, see you in the next one. Peace out.